Rightly Dividing Galatians Study Guide by Mary Ann Manley Rightly Dividing Galatians Study Guide Copyright 2021 by Mary Ann Manley Cover Design by Madeleine Wilkinson Cover Picture by Leanne Micko Acknowledgement To God be the glory for helping me write this book. I am grateful for the support of my dear husband Chuck and my children during this time. I would like to thank some of the many grace pastors who have helped me understand God's word rightly divided, Les Feldick, Richard Jordan, Tom Brescia, Rick Jordan, David Reed, David Osteen, Paul Lucas, and others. I was particularly helped by Sean Brousseau's informative articles on forwatsethscriptures.org. I am delighted with the cover and artwork for the hymns by Madeleine Wilkinson. I thank Leanne Micko and others for their memes. I am grateful for Patty Carlson, her verse and sign making, help in the ministry, and for the help of my other students. In preparing these books, I primarily read and study the Word of God over and over again until the Holy Spirit helps me to understand His Word better, but I also listen to sermons, read articles, and books. Asterisk and note from the author. After teaching on all Paul's letters and writing commentaries on them, I am going through his letters again, taking a closer look at each and every paragraph in conjunction with my more seasoned understanding. This is the new Closer Walk series of the rightly dividing of Paul's mystery letters from the rest of the Bible, prophecy. The goal is to help accelerate the reader's spiritual growth and understanding of the Bible. This study guide is meant to be used along with the King James Bible. When some verses are found in Galatians, I write, 111, instead of, Gal, 111, how to use this book, skim it first, read it using a ruler and a pen, when you find a great cross-reference or comment you can mark it in your Bible, circle and color important words, make notes so that you have them. Next time you read that passage. I recommend the Schofield Study Bible 3 in the King James Version. It is wise to get a leather cover for it that holds a pen and zips. I recommend reading God's Secret A Primer with pictures for how to rightly divide the word of truth before this book. For a more complete between the Bible text analysis, please read our commentaries on all of Paul's letters, Acts and Hebrews. We have a salvation booklet. All glory to our Lord Jesus Christ. Table of Contents. The key to understanding the Bible is 2 Timothy 2 verse 15. The Bible. Paul's Unexpected Conversion. Paul R. Pattern. Summary of Galatians. The Right Hand of Fellowship. Timeline. Galatians Outline and Chapter Review Sentences. Chapter 1 Paul marvels at the Galatians' quick fall for another gospel. Chapter 2 Paul communicated that gospel at the Jerusalem Council contrasting Peter's and Paul's doctrine. Chapter 3 After Salvation the Schoolmaster is no longer needed. Chapter 4 Don't invite the bondwoman and her son back into the family. What about Hebrews to Revelation? Chapter 5 Grace living is by faith with his spirit living through us. The two natures in the believer. Chapter 6 God is not mocked. We reap what we sow. Appendix Daniel's timeline. What is in the gap between the 69th and 70th weeks? The five courses of chastisement for Israel. Spanish and English Salvation Tracts Knowing Our Enemy How to Be a Writer Two People Who Used Their Time Well One Year Bible Reading List About the Author Other Books by Marianne Manley Do You Want to Hear from God? Lord Please Talk To Me Holy King James Bible H. Believers speak to God in prayer. He speaks to us through His finished word. Nothing is required on our part for salvation, except to believe 1 C.O.R. 15 colon 1-4 1 1-5 1-4 K.J.B. Corinthia N.S. Christ died for our sins, and He was buried, and He rose again, for our justification. Jesus Christ gave Himself for our sins. Mads. Galatians 1 verses 4 to 5 KJB. For who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world, according to the will of God and our Father. 5 To whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Many sincere, religious people today believe that the law shall be their righteousness.
They need to hear and believe Apostle Paul's my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery. Romans 16 verses 25 to 26 KJB. Romans 3 verses 21 to 22 KJB. 21 But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. 22 Even the righteousness of God which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. Christ is our righteousness. 2 COR 521, ROM 3 10 28, ROM 4 5 25, ROM 5 17. The Gospel of Our Salvation. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 3 to 4 KJB How that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures. And that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. Under the law. Or. Under grace. Keep looking up. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. F2 colon 8-9 Kib. Salvation is received when we make the choice to believe what the Son did. Christ's righteousness. Our guilty sins. For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21 KJV. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me, and gave himself for me. Galatians 2 verse 20 The key to understanding the Bible is 2 Timothy 2 verse 15. Rightly dividing means in the King James Bible. It does not mean we study only Romans through Philemon, it means we use all of the Bible. We would not know how to rightly divide without all of the Bible. 2 Timothy 3 verses 16 to 17 KJB 16 All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. 17 That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. ISP Romans 15 verse 4 KJB for for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Rightly dividing. 8. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 KJB. 15. Study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Our Christian lives will not work on the basis of ignorance. All the Bible is written for our learning, but not all the Bible is written to us. This is written G for you. Genesis, Revelation. This is written to you. Romans, Philemon. Quafter Y. The Bible. Take this at least once a day or even more often. You can't overdose. Pharmacy. Holy Bible. The Bible was finished nearly 2,000 years ago. Moses was God's spokesman, the prophets were his spokesmen, and the twelve apostles were his spokesmen. But God interrupted their ministry and inserted the mystery, the dispensation of grace, and made Paul his spokesman, wrong. 1113, 1 Cor. 927F. 3 colon 2, Colossians 1 verses 25 and 26. Paul wrote to the body of Christ who live in a new and different dispensation formerly kept secret, wrong. 1625, 26F. 3 colon 1 9. The body of Christ, Rom. 12 colon 5, 1 Cor. 1227 F. 412, will live eternal in the heavens, 2 Cor. 5 colon 1. After our rapture, 1 Thess. For colon 15 17, 9 epistles Hebrews through Revelation, written by some of the 12 apostles during Acts, will help the Hebrew believers that are alive during the tribulation to make it through that horrible time and into the kingdom. James wrote to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, James 1 verse 1. This was probably the Apostle James the son of Alphaeus, and Jude was most likely written by his brother. James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon called Zelotes, and Judas the brother of James. Luke 6 verses 14 and 15. Peter said, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and of the commandment of us the apostles of the Lord and Savior, 2 Peter 3 verse 2. Paul wrote by the revelation of Jesus Christ, Gal. 
1 11, 12. Peter called Paul's letter scripture, an account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul also according to the wisdom given unto him hath written unto you, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also the other scriptures, unto their own destruction. 2 Peter 3 verses 15 and 16. Paul's Unexpected Conversion Saul of Tarsus, Paul, was outside Israel on the road to Damascus when Jesus Christ suddenly appeared to him and made him his apostle to the Gentiles. Paul, Apostle to the Gentiles. Paul our pattern. Paul's gospel was a mystery, never before preached, until Christ gave it to him. C.R. Stam wrote, No conversion in sacred history is given so much attention as that of St. Paul. Besides the many references to it, we find three detailed accounts of it in the Book of Acts. As Saul of Tarsus, the learned Pharisee, he had led his nation and the world in rebellion against God and the Lord Jesus Christ. St. Luke says, As for Saul, he made havoc of the church, Acts 8 verse 3. The believers at Damascus feared Saul's presence among them, saying, Is not this he that destroyed them which called on this name in Jerusalem? Acts 9 verse 21 Paul himself later testified, Many of the saints did I shut up in prison, and when they were put to death, I gave my voice, vote, against them. Acts 26 verse 10 Beyond measure I persecuted the church of God, and wasted it, laid it waste. Galatians 1 verse 13 there must have been an important reason why God saved this rebel leader. Clearly, it was that he might make Paul, not only the herald, but the living example of the exceeding riches of his grace to sinners. Paul himself said, And I thank Christ Jesus our Lord, for, putting me into the ministry, who was before a blasphemer, and a persecutor, and injurious, but I obtained mercy, because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. And the grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant. This is a faithful saying, and worthy of all acceptation, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. Howbeit for this cause I obtained mercy, that in me first Jesus Christ might show forth all longsuffering, for a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting, 1 Timothy 1 verses 12 to 16. Post of Pastor C. R. Stam on August 9, 2012 in two minutes with the Bible. Summary of Galatians Galatians addresses and corrects the error of legalism that had crept into the churches in the region of Galatia and moved them away from the truth Christ gave them through Paul. After the Jerusalem Council, Paul urgently wrote this epistle to the churches in Galatia to warn them of the great spiritual danger they were in. The Galatians noticed that they still sinned after being saved by trusting Christ. Many thought if they kept the law they would be able to control their fleshly sin nature. Many began listening to law promoting Judaizers and were being convinced to be circumcised like proselytes to Judaism, Exodus 12 verse 48, Matt 23 15, Acts 2 10, 6 5, 13 42, 43. Gentiles were allowed into the Jewish synagogues, Acts 13 verse 16, and those that wanted to believe Israel's God blessed Israel and kept the law, including being circumcised, Genesis 17 verse 10. Paul explains why members of the body of Christ do not need to be circumcised. If they think they need to keep one law to be right with God, they have to keep them all. But in the body of Christ, there are neither Jew nor Gentile. 327, 28. True grace believers understand that all of the work of the cross was done by Jesus Christ. His work was enough and we cannot add to it with the removal of a little piece of skin, our circumcision is spiritual, Colossians 2 verses 11 and 12. If Paul still preached circumcision, he would not have had to endure such persecution from the Jews, 511. Paul tells them to stand fast in the doctrine and to not go back to living under the law. Paul glories in what Christ has done by the cross, nothing more needs to be added to his finished blood sacrifice on our behalf, his burial, and his resurrection. The justified were saved by faith, and the just shall live by faith, 311, and the word of God rightly divided, 2 Tim, 215, Paul wrote to the body of Christ who will live in heaven, the rest of the Bible is for the believers that will live on earth, but all the Bible is profitable to both groups.
In Romans 7, Paul tackled the Galatian error of going back under the law instead of grace. We are not to mix God's words to us with the, his words to others. In chapters 1 and 2, Paul clearly establishes that Christ gave him a new and different gospel message and ministry by revelation. Chapters 3 and 4 are doctrinal. In chapters 5 and 6, Christ through Paul equips them and us to live a life of victory as we walk in the Spirit by faith. Our motivation for serving God and others is love, which is a fruit of the Spirit, 5 colon 6, 5 13, 14, 5 22, 23. It is Christ's Spirit, His life living through us, 2.20, that produces lasting fruit as we live the spiritually crucified and spiritually resurrected life until we are physically resurrected at the rapture. Galatians is about our liberty in Christ. There is no longer a need to be circumcised or water baptized as were the proselytes to Judaism. At the Jerusalem Council, Peter, James, and John understood that Peter's group, the believing remnant of Israel, 616, little flock, Luke 12 verse 32, was on hold, 2 colon 7 dash 9, and people could now only be saved into the body of Christ by believing Paul's gospel. The right hand of fellowship. Paul went up to Jerusalem by revelation of Jesus Christ and informed his earthly apostles that Christ had begun a new program to his new group that will be raptured to live in heaven and that their program was postponed. Paul also told them that God's solution to man's sin problem was justification by faith in his son's finished work on the cross and receipt of his righteousness. But contrarywise, when they saw that the gospel of the uncircumcision was committed unto me, as the gospel of the circumcision was unto Peter, for he that wrought effectually in Peter to the apostleship of the circumcision, the same was mighty in me toward the Gentiles. And when James, Cephas, and John, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given unto me, they gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship, that we should go unto the heathen, all lost, and they unto the circumcision. Galatians 2 verses 7 to 9. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 KJV. Study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that nay to th not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. What right division is not? It is not separating the Old and New Testaments. It is not separating truth from error. It is not throwing away or ignoring the non-Pauline books of the Bible. What right division is? It is separating our mystery program from Israel's prophetic program. It is separating the church, the body of Christ from the nation Israel. It is separating law and grace. It is separating time past, but now, and the ages to come. It is separating Paul's apostles' hip from Peter's apostleship. It is separating the truths of God's word written to us, Paul's epistles, from the truths of his word written to others. It is not exalting the apostle Paul as savior or God. It is not chopping up the Bible. It is not following traditional Bible study. Jesus sent Paul by Frank Edua Verston Die Bible slash Understanding the Bible. 5. 5. Reasons God gave U.S. His words in written form. 1. To preserve the original revelation. 2. A written text groups all the material together in one place. 3. A written text is independent of the speaker and the writer. 4. The written text is mobile. 5. The written text makes everybody responsible. KJV. The Holy Bible Authorized King James Version Time Past CIR Israel Middle Wall Timeline 1 to 7 But Now Fall Paul Colossians 1 verses 25 to 27 Grace Acts 9 Unser Gentiles Gen Mal Matt Jorax 1 to 7 Rom. Phil. Israel. Body of. Prophecy. Christ. Mystery. Ages to come. Seven years. Trib Daniel's 70. Weak anti. Christ. Hebrews to Reverend Israel. Prophecy. 1000. Reign. Of. Christ. Time past, F. 
2.11, 12 Wherefore remember, that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope, and without God in the world. But now, Ephesians 2 verse 13, But now in Christ Jesus ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. Ages to come, f. 2 colon 7 That in the ages to come he might shew the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. The mystery was hidden in the prophecy for Israel, and not revealed until Paul. After the cross Christ's earthly followers, Peter's group, were heading into the tribulation, Jacob's trouble, Je. 30 colon 7 God allowed Israel to have a one-year extension of mercy, Luke 13 verses 6 to 9, a renewed offer of the kingdom on earth through the Holy Ghost filled little flock, Luke 12 verse 32, but Israel rejected the offer and committed the blasphemy of the Holy Ghost, Matt 12 31, 32. The religious leaders stoned Stephen. God surprised everyone, including Satan, by doing something unprophesied, saving Saul of Tarsus. God interrupted prophecy and began to save another group to live in heaven. Galatians Outline and Chapter Review Sentences Galatians is a letter of doctrinal correction. I, Paul's gospel is the only valid gospel. A, Paul said he was called and declares the gospel of Christ, 1 colon 1 5. B, astonished that they are so soon removed from the truth, 1 colon 6 10. C, Paul defends his ministry, 1 colon 11 24. 2, Paul recounts his visit to the elders at the Jerusalem Council, 2 colon 1 10. 3, Paul's public rebuke of Peter's wrong conduct, 2 colon 11 21. 4, Paul contrasts the doctrine of grace with the law, 3 4. I, the Galatians' wrong thinking and conduct, 3 colon 1 5. B. Scriptural argument the example of Abraham's faith, 3 colon 6 14. C. No longer under the schoolmaster, 3 colon 15 29. D. The dispensational argument, 4 colon 1 11. E. Allegory of Agar and Sarah as examples of the law and grace, 4 colon 12 31. V. Practical section living the grace life, 5 6. A. Liberty, not bondage, 5 colon 1 5. B. The spirit, not the flesh, 5 colon 16 26. C. Others, not self, 6 colon 1 10. D. Glory in Christ's cross, not man's approval, 6 colon 11 18. Galatians chapter review sentences. Paul's gospel and defending his apostleship. 1. Paul marvels that they are so soon removed from his gospel. 2. Paul's gospel shared at the Jerusalem Council and defended before Peter. Warning not to go back under the law. 3. After salvation the schoolmaster, law, is no longer needed. 4. Cast out the bondwoman and her son. Works of the law by the flesh. The problems that result from going back under the law. 5. Walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. 6. Sowing to the spirit has eternal value while sowing to the flesh does not.